My team has built a visual editor for Web Stories. It's called Web Stories for WordPress. Let's check it out. This video is part of a sub-series of Storytime where we take a look at the different visual editors available to you. In the first part of this installment, I took a deep dive into Make Stories. So if you are currently in the market for a Web Story Editor, make sure to check out that episode as well. First, a massive disclaimer for this special episode. This is not an ordinary impartial review as I've been very heavily involved in the creation and development of Web Stories for WordPress. But I will try my best to highlight the pros and cons and help you understand your options. As the name says, Web Stories for WordPress is a plugin for, you guessed it, WordPress. So in order to run it, you need to be using the WordPress CMS on your servers. Some of you might know this already, but WordPress.com is not the same as WordPress, the CMS. And yes, I too wish this was more obvious. WordPress.com is a commercial blogging platform using WordPress under the hood, but their free plan doesn't allow you to install plugins, so be careful. If you're not using WordPress yet, you can download the CMS to your server from WordPress.org or sign up directly for a managed WordPress hosting plan from companies such as SiteGround, GoDaddy, Pantheon, and so on. Once you've installed the Web Stories for WordPress plugin, the story menu item will appear in your WordPress dashboard sidebar, and you can choose between starting a new story from scratch or using one of the templates Web Stories for WordPress has in store for you. Let's click on the Create New Story button and talk about usability. The center of the editor is the visualization of your story page. Right now, it's a blank canvas. On the upper left, four tabs help you organize your media. The left one is your media library, showing you the latest images or videos that you've uploaded. Next to it, you'll find a tab to source free images, videos, or GIFs, a tab for text, and another tab that contains shapes. So overall, the left side of the editor is the place where you'll find the elements that will make up your story. Once you've added an asset, like an image or some text, the design panel on the right becomes relevant. Here's where you can customize your assets and do things like changing the font or color. Below the design panel is another important section, the layers panel. Here you can change which asset is in the foreground and which is in the back. This is especially critical when you're working with several elements. Overall, you can really grasp most of the functions by just looking around the editor interface. And that really empowers you to jump into the creation of your story right away. An easy start for beginners as well as pros. Let's talk features. Compared to other visual editors in the ecosystem, Google has taken a different approach to feature development. We're trying to make sure every core feature is well thought out, accessible, and future-proof. That comes at the expense of not being the editor with the most bells and whistles. So if compared with other editors, Web Stories for WordPress might lack a feature here and there. For example, the editor doesn't automatically optimize the videos that you upload, meaning that you need to manually compress your videos for optimal playback experience beforehand. It's also not possible for more than one person to work on a story at the same time. And unfortunately, you can't save your story layouts as templates yet. However, Web Stories for WordPress still comes with everything you need to create beautiful and successful web stories. There's access to the Unsplash library, so you have access to millions of fantastic photos. There's a video library from Cover and GIFs from Tenor. One standout feature I like the most are text sets. On the text tab, you'll find a list of high quality text sets created specifically for editorial use cases. The sets are carefully created combinations so that you mix and match different harmonious topography. And there's a dynamic toggle that shows you only the text sets that match what you're already using, so you can be confident that your choices pair well together. I also really like that you can grab a shape from the Basic Shapes tab, drop a photo into it, and it'll take that shape, immediately adding some snazz to your page designs. Now the part that makes your stories not just beautiful, but successful. Web Stories for WordPress enables you to include captions and metadata in a very straightforward way and comes with a pre-published checklist that warns you if you've forgotten anything important. To summarize the feature set, we think you'll find a solid foundation and more to create engaging stories that have everything they need to be eye-catchy and get picked up by the Google Discover carousel. Once you've created a captivating web story, you will want to publish it. And that is where Web Stories for WordPress really shines as it is fully integrated with your CMS. You just hit the Publish button on the top right and your story is out on your website and on the World Wide Web. Your story can now be picked up by the Google Discover carousel, search engines and shared across social to find an audience. The editor will also ask you if you want to add your story to a blog post and since your web story lives on your website, you can of course choose to create a page that features something like a web story gallery. Fair warning, some more advanced theme integrations will still require some coding but the team is working with more theme makers to make this easier. 
If you're not a web developer, you can use a plugin like Elementor to design an inviting web story gallery. Now for the grand finale. Where does that leave you as a user? Is it for you? If you're not on WordPress already, it might be faster to start using a different visual editor. If you are using or switching to WordPress, I very much encourage you to give web stories for WordPress a try. It's super easy to install and a great tool to get your feet wet. And I can promise you that our team is working hard to create new exciting features and take the editor to even better levels with every release. If you want, you can check out the public roadmap to see where we stand. Are you already building web stories with web stories for WordPress? Let us know in the comments and share your stories with us. Onwards.